since the campaign's been rocked by so many bombshell revelations, we wanted to see how loyal these people would be if they heard about some new revelations. <laughs> Let's take a look at these diehard supporters in a Donald Trump focus group. I appreciate you uh, sharing that stuff and introducing yourselves. Um, I'm gonna jump right into it. We're gonna, we're gonna roll. We're gonna start out and I wanna share some leaked audio. And, um, you know, this is audio of, of Trump saying some things and we need your candid thoughts on what to do, right? This is not out at this point, but we need to have a plan in place on how to react and respond to this stuff if it ends up hitting the media, so. Look, I need cameras in the dressing room. You know, cameras on the wall, cameras on the floor, aimed up at their whatevers. I want the best cameras set up by the best Chinamen. Understand? Yeah, well, that could be a violation of... Uh, it's to make sure that they're safe. Safe? I mean, look, I can't be there all day. I'll just start grabbing them. Believe me, for them, not me. I'm a man. They're beautiful women. It's totally natural. You know, sometimes I'll walk in naked. So then we're all naked. I mean, if they file a complaint against me, I can file it right back at them. A Jew lawyer taught me that one. We need to have a plan in place on how to react and respond to this stuff if it ends up in the media. Well, this is obviously old. It's before he decided he was going to be a politician. Mm -hmm. I personally don't care. I just, I just don't care. Okay. See, I like him because he says all. I like him because he says all. We love it when he says what everybody thinks and won't say. And with that personality goes those kind of comments most of the time. As a man, I know I've been in situations. We've been in locker rooms. We've been. It's man talk. I've done it, said it. They've done it, said it. I've been around plenty of men, professional. I mean, you name it. The, every man has some, said something to the effects that you know that they'd like to put the camera in a teenage girl's changing room all right we're gonna move on to the next one we'll be back with lots more of donald trump don't go away okay so am i doing all right larry because i'm a little woozy i just get back from giving blood for this paternity test so what do they have to say it's for ivanka okay, i'm double checking that she's really my daughter you know, I don't want to go my whole life and find out that she was fair game after all, you know? Her own birth. It's just that she's voluptuous, successful, and, you know, frankly, I heard she's great in bed. And we're back in five, okay. four. Does oral count as incest? We're back. Because Donald Trump is going to be all over the board tonight. Okay, so how do you feel about this one? He's, he's complimenting his daughter, like in his head type of thing. Yes, it's crass, because that is, that is his own daughter. Um, he's still, he's still a, he's still a human male. As a male, I do say, I do say, I do say some things that are crude. Okay. Absolutely. So these are the actual cows we use for Trump steaks? Yeah. Yeah, those are, uh, yeah. We're really going to kill that one? Because uh, she's beautiful. Wow. She's a 10 easily. You know, I heard Linda Johnson fuck cows. <laughs> Yeah, I could see it. Look at these udders. I'm not kidding. Why not fuck a cow? Perfect woman. She just stands there. Can't get pregnant. I mean, would it make the steaks taste better? In Japan, they give them massages and feed them beer. You can just feed them NyQuil and fuck them. Hey, Baron. It's Baron. You want to see a really hot cow? It makes it look like they're getting really, really desperate. You're talking about food here, yeah. not a human being. What about including Baron in it? I mean, it's one thing when he's just talking about a cow. And, and he obviously wasn't standing next to him while he said those things. No, he he had funny. to bring him out to, and say, hey, look at the hot cow. Um, we're going to listen to this other audio piece that they're aware of is out there and unsure about how they could have to deal with it. I can't take this. I wish that I had the courage to do what you did. You know how many times I thought about killing Marla? Oh, uh, I just tell him I'm all sorry. Sorry for what? Right now you run every channel. I mean, trust me, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Oh. Hey, Jim, could you plug my casino? 
Look, forget about plugging the casino. Could you date Ivana for me? She's killing me with the alibi. Kill her for me. Could you do that for me? Uh... That doesn't bother me. So, so, anybody feel differently about that? Like the, I that think kind if the of Democrats thing? get a hold of that, they're going to do as much damage as they can possibly do. As yeah. Yeah. If you, you splice that, I could see in a commercial, you could see more than it was if you don't show the whole thing. <laughs> How many times has somebody said, oh, I'm going to kill my husband? Uh, you know, yeah. whatever. I mean, we're not actually going to kill him. It's just the game. It's the political game. I say that's, I say that's not a sting and that the panel is, are actors. Absolutely Rick. not. Rick says... Absolutely not. Paw to God. <laughs> Those are real people. And what does it say? What does it say, Maria? That Trump was right, that he could stand up on Fifth Avenue and murder people and his supporters wouldn't care. All right, take his it words the whole Democrat. They took, what, six, seven poor people. I'm sure if you go to a lot of places around this country, you get six, seven Hillary supporters and you show them a body double or something, they'll say, oh, it's OK. She's Impossible. Fine. Yeah, right. Impossible. Because the Democrats are all so smart, right? Let's take a look and find out. <laughs> Roll the tape! <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for being here. Hello. How you doing, sir? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Right. Sit anywhere. A couple more seats. We're going to fill all the... Um, I want to share some leaked audio that we have. And um, the audio is of Hillary saying some things. And we're trying to prevent that it ever sees the light of day, but we have to be prepared to understand how people feel about it and have that inform a strategy about, like, what do we do about it? Okay? So we're going to jump into that. Ma'am, there's an ongoing attack at the American consulate in Benghazi. Are you there? I'm just trying to figure out why you're calling me in the middle of the night with the breaking news that the Middle East is violent. Yeah, thank you. I, I didn't know that. Two in the goddamn morning. <laughs> If the Clinton cam was trying to spin something to make this seem like nothing, what would they do? You wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you're going to hear a lot worse than that. Yeah, then I got upset with the phone call, which any of us would. I've gotten calls like that when I manage property and things. This is a real person being waking up at 3 in the morning, and everyone's cranky at 3 in the morning. And so she understands that, and she's changing her behaviors in the future. We have a couple more. I'm going to uh, move on to the next one, OK? You know, people say a lot of nice things about first responders, but the bankers in this room, you, you are the real first responders. Now, when everyone else ran away from the economy, you ran towards it. It is so great to be back in New York among friends. Now, I'm just glad I'm in front of a crowd of successful people for a change and don't have to speak Spanish. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel about what she said in that? She was speaking to her audience. And when she was in front of a Spanish group, she was speaking to that audience. Um, I'm going to move on to the next one, all right? Hey, Chelsea's mom. Look, honey, I am so excited to meet my new grandson. Uh, you know, and I know he's due June 18th. Uh, but that seems like a real missed opportunity for the campaign. If you and your doctor and your husband are comfortable with it, uh, it would be great to induce labor, I don't know, six weeks, maybe even two months earlier. You know, right in the middle of those primaries. Good. Anyway, honey, think about it and get back to me. Oh, and happy birthday. But how does she deal with it? How, do we, how does she spin it? How does she deal with it? Her being a leader, she can't have anything stopping her, so I, I kind of, in a way, respect her. Because, you know, obviously she's, you know, she's headstrong. She definitely wanted the campaign to succeed. Yeah. And she needed Chelsea to have that baby so that baby could be there and they could show something about family or yeah. whatever. And that's what a politician does. Ready to uh, move on to the next one? Hillary's out there acting like she's the next Susan B. Anthony. Meanwhile, you should hear some of the things she's called women. Call Madeline Albright an old bitch. <laughs> she had a goofy mom. 
Call Angela Merkel on the plane. You know what she calls Queen Elizabeth? Queef Elizabeth. She thinks Meryl Streep's got a big old dick. She took one look at Melinda Gates and said, I guess her foundation still hasn't found a cure for ugly. So, talk to me. Does this do damage? No. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. In this instance, she can come out and be like, I never said any of those things. He was drunk. He's an idiot. We all know he's an idiot. It doesn't matter how many audios I watch, I'm still voting for her. <laughs> there you go. I'm hoping those focus groups are not for you. I don't know Triumph to be a liar. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That Please. These people are so terrible. These candidates are so terrible mm -hmm. that every one of those people actually believed that they could have been saying those things. That's awful. Well, actually, I, thought, I, thought, I thought the Hillary Donald Clinton... Trump did not call O.J. Simpson while he was in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that, though. Now, listen. And this... His supporters think it's plausible. George Zimmer, you get the last word. Well, <laughs> I think that... Uh... I was kidding, you don't. <laughs> Everybody sucks. That's the lesson. <laughs>